is as we spoke about to convert this to polar coordinates, we, let's go and look at this point. Negative 1, 2, 3, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? That is our coordinate. Now, to be able to do this, what we need to be able to figure out, to write this in a polar format, we need to know r and we need to know theta. Correct? So we need to know what this theta is, and we need to know what the radius is. So we know that this side is negative 3, and we know this side is 4. If I know this and I know that, can we figure out what the radius is? Of course we can, right? 4 squared plus negative 3 squared equals r squared. 16 plus 9 equals r squared. 25 equals r squared. r equals 5. Cool. So now I know that's 5. Now I just need to figure out what is theta. Well, guys, if we know these two sides, can we figure out what theta is? Of course we can. Theta equal, I'm sorry, tangent of my angle theta equals opposite over adjacent, 4 over negative 3. Nothing that we're going over is anything that we haven't discussed before. All we're trying to do, convert from rectangular to polar, is finding the radius and the theta. Now, it does get a little confusing for this problem. Because when we go and figure this out, we have to use the inverse tangent. And I know, and I'm really upset about this, that we didn't have time to discuss this in class. But when you guys figure out the inverse tangent of this, and we're going to deal this in uh, radian form, so I want to make sure that my graph is back in radians. When I do inverse tangent of 4 divided by negative 3, I get negative 0.29. And you guys might be thinking of that. How is that you know, working, or what are we doing? If you guys remember, when we take the inverse, and just hold on if I go over. Just remember, when we take the inverse of tangent, the inverse of tangent had to be within negative pi halves and pi halves. So my angle is like giving, it's giving this value down here. So I need to figure out you know, this theta. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to add that to pi. Since it's in my negative angle, I'm going to add it to pi, which will give me this theta, which is going to be the same as the reference angle of this theta. So when I add my answer to pi, I get 2.214. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And that is going to be my angle and my radius for my